Imagine a universe so dark, so thick with cosmic fog, that even light couldn't travel through it. Now imagine a moment the very first stars ignited, blasting ultraviolet radiation powerful enough to transform the entire cosmos. But here's the real question. What if this ancient transformation didn't just clear the universe, but also created gravitational wave signals we might detect today? Right after the Big Bang, the universe was hot, dense, and glowing. But as it expanded, it cooled. At about 380,000 years old, atoms formed. And suddenly the universe went dark. Hydrogen gas filled everything like a cosmic fog. No stars. No galaxies. No light. Just silence and darkness stretching for millions of years. Then something extraordinary happened. Gravity pulled pockets of hydrogen together. Until, boom, the first stars were born. These weren't gentle stars like our sun. They were massive, hot, and short-lived, blasting intense ultraviolet radiation into the fog around them. This radiation began tearing electrons away from hydrogen atoms, a process called reionization. And with every atom stripped, the fog thinned. Light could finally travel freely. This is how the universe becomes transparent. Over hundreds of millions of years, more stars and early galaxies formed, each contributing to the cosmic cleanup. Slowly, the universe transitioned from opaque to transparent, like a cosmic sunrise after a long night. This era is known as the Epoch of Reionization, and it marks the moment the universe became visible. Every galaxy we see today, every telescope image, every cosmic structure, was only possible because the first stars cleared the way. And there's a hidden gift, new gravitational wave sources. But here's the twist most people never hear about. Those first stars didn't just light up the universe. They also created the first black holes. When these giant stars collapsed, they formed massive black hole seeds. Some merged. Some grew. Some formed tight binary systems. And all of them could produce gravitational waves. Ripples in space-time that we can potentially detect today. This means the epoch of reionization didn't just give us light. It may have filled the universe with the earliest gravitational wave signals. Signals that current and future detectors like LIGO, Virgo, CAGRA, and LISA might uncover. The first stars died, but traces remain in cosmic clarity, newborn galaxies, and faint waves. We hear the universe's memory.